Buns of Steel is back with a new look, a new sound, a new style, and a new sweat. Let's do it. Hips out. I'm going to work these hips. Now the award-winning yes. fitness videos that sold over 13 million copies returns with three brand new workouts. Buns of Steel Target Toning Workouts. And lift. Buns of Steel Total Body Fat Burner. Come on at home. Work it with us. And the Abs of Steel Target Toning Workout. One more. Almost there. They're the most fun you'll ever have crunching calories. Oh, this is great, Rob, and it's a really sweet. different exercise, but I feel it so oh, yeah, much. Right? The new buns of steel are fun and easy to follow. Imagine a straight line. Knees, hip, and shoulders. Something tells me we've oh, only yeah. just begun. They'll huh? give you the results you want, Single and you'll team. look great, too. When you're ready to pump it up, we're right here for you, so get ready. We've got more to come. And to make it even more fun, now you can tone and shape your body to your favorite hit songs. And look for the classic Buns of Steel series. The original workout videos that started it all have an exciting new look. Classic Buns of Steel features six best-selling workouts from the award-winning original Buns of Steel series. They're available now wherever videos are sold, along with a brand new Buns of Steel target toning workout Buns of Steel Total Body Fat Burner and the Abs of Steel Target Toning Workout. Buns of Steel, it's a whole new batch of buns. Get ready for Abs of Steel. I'm Lisa Hart. I'm going to teach you a new approach to abdominal work. It's called middle muscle training. Rather than doing countless repetitions of the same exercise, we'll combine various moves to work all of the muscles that wrap around your middle. I'll guide you through a 20 minute beginner intermediate program. And then when you feel you're ready, challenge yourself to the five minute advanced bonus crunch. You'll need a chair for that. Now the only thing else that you'll need is an exercise mat or carpet. Let's get started. Start out by just tapping out from side to side. Then I want you to lift a shoulder right up towards your ear. Lift it up. Now notice the difference between lifting that shoulder way up towards your ear as opposed to just kind of shrugging through the shoulders. You should feel a nice long stretch down the sides of your rib cage. Now we just want to raise your body core temperature, get you ready for your abs of steel workout. We're going to change this just a little bit. There's going to be a shoulder lift, then you relax it and roll the arm back right here. Shoulder lift roll. Shoulder lift, then roll. Relax the elbow. Keep it going. Tap out. Roll. Keep it going. Now we're going to go back to singles. Single shoulder lifts right here. Four. Two more. Now lift and roll. Lift. Roll it. Back to the singles. Let's go. All right, lift and roll last time. Now arms right and left, straight up. Keep the arms way up above, kind of out at a diagonal, and keep your hips steady. Now we're really starting to use those abdominal muscles. There's going to be a single single, and then an arm sweep. It'll sweep downward right here. And then we're going to be starting with the same arm. Same arm goes up. Notice how you're using those abdominal muscles already. Let's go. Hips steady, big sweep. Last time, then I want you to reach your arms forward, and then take it back. Here we go. Lift it. Round through the upper back. Two more. Okay, left arm's coming up right here. Single. Now sweep it. Again. All right, two more times. Here's your last one. Hips stay steady. Now lower back right here. Lower it down. 
two more times, then we're going to start from the top again. Shoulder raises, toe out, tap. All right, lift and roll, lift, roll it. Singles, single. All right, lift and roll it, lift, roll, arm sweeps up right here, just two of them this time. Again. Keep going right here. Two more times. All right, left arm coming up right here. Sweep it. Again. The abdominal muscles are already working. Lower it down. Two more times. Get ready to go from the top. You sticking with me? Tap out, shoulder lift. Up. Two more. Now shoulder roll. Up. Roll it. Singles again. You've got it. Big stretch. Make it good. Lift and roll. Arm up. Hips stationary. Sweep. Once more. Sweep it. Now arms forward. Round it. Right there. Two more. All right, left arm coming up. Let's go. Hip steady. Big sweep. You've got it. Are you breathing? Let's round it right here. Two more times. Now hold it right here. Hold it. Okay, contract the abdominal muscles inward and press into that upper back. Just let your head relax. Now I want you to tilt slightly to one side and feel the stretch all down this side right here. Now lift it up. Knees are still bent. Big stretch. Take it over to the other side. And you've got a little tilt here. Nice stretch all down along the sides of your ribcage. Those are your obliques. And release it. Take it back to the center. Shoulder rolls back. Roll it back. Now your muscles are all warmed up and ready for your workout. Let's get started. To start off your program, I'm going to teach you an exercise to help you become aware of the muscle groups that you'll be using and another exercise to strengthen the muscles of your lower back. Let's go down to the floor one elbow at a time, carefully, and place the feet about hips distance apart. Make sure that your upper body and your neck is in a comfortable, relaxed position. Now I'd like you to contract your abdominal muscles inward towards your spine, tilt slightly so that the lower back comes in contact with the floor. That's called your neutral position, and I'll be referring to it from time to time throughout your entire abs and steel program. Now, maintaining that neutral tilted position, I'd like you to take your right leg and carefully extend it outward. And then we're going to take that leg and go up for two, down for two, right here. It's up two counts and down two counts. Now, notice when you've extended that leg how the abdominal muscles have got to work a little bit harder to help you maintain that tilted neutral position. Keep going. Lift. Higher. Down. Lower. Now if this position, having the heel fairly close to the floor on the way down, is a little bit too difficult for you to maintain neutral, go ahead and take it up a little bit higher. Now two more. Take it up for two and down. One more time. Lift. Up and down. Release it. Take that foot in. Let's contract, tilt up again, extend the other leg, and get ready. Up for two, down for two. It's up, higher. Now notice it's a very subtle movement. You don't want to be swinging the leg. The range of motion from top to bottom of that leg is just a couple of inches. And remember, if when you take the foot down towards the floor, if you're really having difficulty maintaining that neutral position, then go ahead and take the foot up a little bit higher don't bring it down so low. Very, very controlled. And this is just to help you become aware of the muscle groups that we'll be working. Let's do two more. Up for two and down. One more time. Up, higher, down, lower. And rest it all the way down on the floor. Let's take a long stretch through and release it. Now roll over onto your front side carefully. And I'm going to illustrate this slowly one time through, and you may want to watch. And when you do watch me, tilt from the side. Don't hyperextend your neck back. At all times, the legs and the toes are going to stay down on the floor. Toes are pointed towards the back. Separate your legs comfortably. Then we're going to extend the arms forward, and you're going to keep your nose down towards the mat. 
you're going to take it upward and sweep the arms back with the pinkies touching your hips and the palms down. Let's try four of these. Take it up and again. Two more times. Are you breathing? Last one. Now I'd like you to hold it right here. Palms come to below the shoulders and we're going to be in an uplifted position and from there I'm going to ask you to squeeze your abdominal muscles inward just like you were trying to pull your navel in towards your spine. It'll be squeeze six, seven. Now let's try it. Take it up. Two, three, then release it. Up. Remember not to tilt your head behind. You can look at me from the side. Then we're going to combine those two moves with the back sweep and then the abdominal contraction. So you take it back, now palms below the shoulders and squeeze in for four, three, get ready to start again right here. So when you go back to start, relax the body for four, three, two, take it back. It's here. Palms below the shoulders and contract six, seven and release it. So while we're strengthening the muscles of the lower back, I've added these contractions to start working your abdominal muscles. Let's go. Take a break if you need to. Sweep it right here. Keep that nose downward. Now once you feel that you've got the move, go ahead and keep looking down towards the floor. For four, three, two, take it forward and back. Palms down and contract. And take it forward once more. And palms, shoulders for four, three, two, and one. Long stretch forward. And release it. Now press up to the elbows, just kind of press into the palms just a bit. And now let's roll over on to your back side. Feet hips distance again, and we are ready to move on to the rest of your abs of steel workout. Contract your abdominal muscles inward. Tilt slightly so that the lower back comes in contact with the floor. Remember, this is the neutral position that you want to maintain throughout your program. Take the thumbs and place them behind the ears and avoid lacing the fingers so that you're not tempted to pull forward and let the head fall back. Just let them rest gently in towards your hands. Now for a moment, I'd like you to place a fist between your chin and chest. Thumb to your chin, pinky to your chest. This is going to tell you the precise distance that you should have between your chin and chest to keep the neck in alignment with your spine. Now as you lift up for your crunch, I want you to look directly over your knees and then lower. Let's go. So it's exhale and inhale. Contract the abdominal muscles inward, lift and lower. Keep going. Four more like this and then we're going to change the tempo just a little bit. We're going to be going up for two and down for two. Let's go. So you go up a little bit higher, down a little bit lower. On the second count, Feel your shoulder blades start to clear the floor. You can kind of imagine as if your muscles were an accordion and you're closing the accordion and then opening it. Two more times, then I'm gonna show you your second group of exercises. Last one, now hold it down. This one's called a circular crunch and we sweep upward towards the side, up towards the center, other side, then we come back down and we'll go from side to side. Get ready in four, three, make it a nice sweeping motion. Take it side, center, side, other side, lifting up. So as I said in the beginning, we're not going to do countless repetitions of the same exercise. We'll be combining them to work all the muscles of your middle. Up for two, down for two. Here we go. Up, higher, do that just one more time. And then we're going to go into the circular crunch once each direction. Doesn't really matter what direction you start at, just so long as you keep it even. Now up for two, down for two. Here we go. Up, higher, down. Do it again. So you close the accordion and then you open it. Circular crunch, sweep it side. Center, make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. Now next time, I want you to go up three counts in the center. Down one. Take it up, higher, higher. Now if you want to challenge yourself more, you can extend your arms on the second count, up, now lift higher, then take it back once more, and I'm going to show you your next move. Hold it down right here. 
you're going to lift upward to the side, down in the center, upward to the other side, then take it back down in the center. And when you do so, lead with your shoulder and don't bend at the shoulder joint. Let's try a few of those right here. Take it side, center, side, center. Then we'll be combining it where you lift up, then extend. Last four, three, two more times. Get ready to lift up and extend. Lift up, then extend. Lift. Now go side to side. One more. Let's go up, then extend again. Up. Now side to side one more time, and then we're going to start from the top. Up for two, down for two. Two times. Lift. Higher. Down. Do it again. So we're working all the muscles around your middle. Circular. Take it to the side. Side. Sweep. Other way. All right, are you ready for that up and extend? Let's go. Up, extend, lift higher. Now side to side, side, center. Up and extend again. Take it up, extend, relax your neck. Remember, if you have discomfort in the neck, always keep the hands behind the head. Up for two, down for two. Here we go. Up, higher, down. Concentrate, relax through your legs. Now sweep it side, circular crunch, sweep. And other side, so we're working the muscles of the obliques along the side of the rib cage as we go to the side. Lift it up, extend. All right, now working those muscles along the side. Remember not to bend at the shoulder joint. Up and extend again. Are you breathing? All right, beginners, this might be a good time for you to take a break. Up for two, down for two. So if you feel you've reached the intermediate level, keep going. Circular, right here. And other direction, just a fluid motion. All right, here's that up, then extend. Take it up, extend, lift higher. Now side to side, lead with your shoulder. Up, then extend again. Take it up, lift higher, right here, side to side. And release it. Good job, that is it. Let's take a moment to take a stretch before we move on and challenge your abdominal muscles even more. Let's take those feet back down to hips distance apart. Now carefully take your left heel and slide it forward just a bit so that your knee is still slightly bent. Contract the abdominal muscles inward so that your lower back comes in contact with the floor. Neutral position. Now maintain that neutral as you carefully take your right heel, lift it up, and cross it over the left ankle. And then let the knee just fall gently out towards the side. Now you're going to have a tendency to tip over, but I want you to keep the hips in neutral, lower back in contact with the floor. Now the first move that I'm going to show you is going to be familiar. The first part starts out like that circular crunch. You lift upward to the side, to the center, and then rotate towards the back, then bring it back down to the center. Let's try that a little bit more quickly. Four reps, take it side. Center, rotate to the back, then come back down. Side, center, Rotate, then back down. Side. Now give it to me one more time. Now hold right here. Take your legs together. All right. Then we're just going to crunch up. So lift it up. Now go up three counts. Down one. Take it up. Two. Three. Down one. And then we're going to add the arms. They're going to be a rope pull. Looks like this. So it's up on an angle. Then take it back down. Now, if you have any discomfort in your neck, just keep your arms behind your head for those three counts. One more, then you're going to take that leg back out to the side for the beginning. Here we go. Two times through, rotate, down again. Here we go. Now, leg comes up for your two rope pulls. Take it up. Maintain that neutral position through the hips. From the start, here we go. Take it side. Center. Once more. Side. Center. Legs come in. Rope pull. Let's go. Up. Once more. And release it from the top. And then we'll be adding on. Again. Instead of that last set of rope pulls, we're going to add a pulse. Legs stay in. Now pulse up three quick times for four. Three, leg release from the top. Here we go. So that's your whole combination. 
again, center, rotate. Now rope pull, legs come in, stay together, pulse it for four, three, two, and release it. Here we go, up, center, side, do that again. Are your hips in neutral? Rope pull, legs inward. Hold the legs, pulse it for four, three, two, and one. All right, relax, take that head down and carefully take a moment to switch sides. Place the right heel in towards the floor. Get into neutral, carefully cross the ankle, tip it out to the side, and get ready for four repetitions of that first exercise. Tilt to the back, tilt side, center towards me, then down. Do it again, here we go. All right, one more rep, and then we're gonna slowly take time to get into that rope pull again. Take your legs together, and then now crunch up right here. All right, up three, down one. Take it up, two, three, again like this. Now rope pull on an angle. Four reps of this, keeping your legs together. Remember that, that's gonna help keep those hips in the proper alignment. Remember if you have discomfort in your neck, that you can keep your elbows behind your head. From the top, leg comes open two times now. Rotate. Beginners, take a break when you need to. Legs come in, rope pull. Do that again. Open it up, here we go. Take it side, center, rotate, back down. Rope pull, here we go. Once more. And from the top, here we go. Your leg comes open. And again, are you breathing? Rope pull, one time this time. Now hold it here and pulse it. For four, three, open from the top. Let's go. Stick with me. Let's do that again. And rope pull, legs come in. Hold it there and pulse it for four, three, two. Last time, take it side, center, rotate. Do that again. Side, center, legs come in, rope pull. Stick with me, we're almost finished with this group. Here we go, pulse it for four, three, two, and one. Release it. Again, let's stretch. Take those feet and extend. Arms up above the head, long stretch, breathing in and out. Now the exercises that we've been doing so far have been concentrating mostly on the muscles up a little bit higher. Now while it is one long muscle, now we're gonna concentrate just a little bit lower. We're gonna lift up one leg at a time, and when you get your knees there, pull them gently back towards you until you feel your tailbone lift up off of the floor. Carefully take the thumbs and go ahead and place them back behind the ears, and we'll use the upper body in just a moment. Now through the lower body only, I want you to lift through the knees up two counts right here. Take it up for two and down for two. Now later I'll be adding on the upper body and beginners remember that the whole time through this segment, feel free to do the lower body only. Now add the arms if you'd like. Take it up, higher, down, a little bit lower. Slow and controlled. Just let the head rest into the arms. All right, do this one more time, and then I'm gonna teach you the next move. Get ready, hold right here. Now lift upward. From the upward position, I want you to turn to the side, stay lifted, turn to the other side, then we'll take it back down. Now get ready, we'll try a few repetitions of this one. In four, three, two, up, then stay up, up, side, side, then back down. Up, side, side, do it again. Lift, rotate. Now we're gonna be adding this on from the very top. We'll go up for two, down for two, two times. Take it up, higher, down, do that again. Take it up. Now get ready for that next move. Up then twist, up, side, side. Do that again, up. Let's go from the top, up for two, down for two. Take it up, higher. Down, lower, lift, higher, up then rotate. Take it up, 
side, side. Last time for this, and I've got something else I want to teach you. Pull. Now, just through the upper body, pulse, two, three, then take it down. It's pulse, two, three. So we're giving the lower body a rest. Pulse, two, three. Then your last move, you're going to lift up and cross the arm towards me, then to the other side. Take it up, then other side. Just crossing it. Remember, go ahead and keep your lower body steady for now. Then we're going to start all the way back from the top, and we'll put it all together. Up for two, down for two. Here's your lower body. It's up, higher, down. Again, exhale, lift. Now here comes that up and twist. Take it up, side, side. Do that again, up, side. Now lower body stay steady. Pulse it up right here, pulse. Pulse, pulse. Now side to side, right into this. Now pulse it again, right here. So it's pulse. Now side to side again, here we go. Now from the top, use your lower body. So I'm combining various movements, remember, so that we're using all the muscles of the abdominal area. Up then twist, up, side, side. Do it again. So we move in various directions. Pulse right here, pulse, to get the most use out of the muscles of your abdominal area. Pulse it right here, it's pulse. Now reach side to side, okay, got those legs ready? Stick with me, but remember, you need to take a break from time to time, and that's all right. Up then twist, let's go. Take it up, side, side, do it again, up. Lower body steady, pulse it. So it's pulse. Side to side, here we go. How are you doing? Pulse it right here, pulse. Side to side. Okay, are you with me? Let's go from the top. Remember you can do just the upper body or just the lower body. Up then twist. We stay up for the whole time on this one, again. Now pulse it, legs relaxed, pulse. Side to side, come towards me, to the back, pulse it right here. Now side to side, and release it right here. Take those feet down one at a time, point out long throughout the fingertips and toes, long stretch. You have done a great job. Let's take those feet back to the floor and carefully just roll over to your side, push yourself up, and we are ready to move on to the advanced bonus abs section. Now this is your advanced toning segment. Stick with me, I know you can do it, and I'm gonna help you every step of the way. This is where you'll need your chair to place your feet upon. Now move yourself up closer to the chair, and one elbow goes back at a time, feet up onto the chair, and move yourself forward enough so that the knees are aligned directly above your hips. And guess what? Time to get back into neutral. Contract the abdominal muscles inward. Tilt slightly so that the lower back comes in contact with the floor. Thumbs go back. And then we're going to start by just crunching up. Remember to exhale as you lift and inhale as you lower. Let's go. So it's exhale and inhale. All right. Now might be the time when you're thinking about quitting but we're in the bonus abs, so you gotta keep going. Stick with me. The next movement that I'm going to show you is where we'll lift one leg up slowly at a time. Let me show it to you slow first. We're gonna lift one leg up, the other leg comes in, you crunch in the center, and then you bring those heels back down. Let's go. So it's lift, lift, crunch center, take it back down. Lift, lift. This is similar to a move that we did before, so it should be somewhat familiar, where you crunched up like that, now on the last one, hold the heels up off the bench. Now go up three, up, two, three. Now hips with it, up, two, three, and release it. Now if you want to challenge yourself even a little bit more, and I know you do, we're going to extend the arms on the second count and the legs up on the third. So take it up, extend, lift higher, then take it down. Up, extend, lift higher, then take it down. Looking good, up, extend. Lift higher, take it down, 
Last one. Now from the very top, heels down. Take it, lift, lift, center, down one more, lift. Heels stay up. Now here's your three count. Up, two, three, once more, up, two, three. From the top once again, lift, lift, higher, back down. Remember on this one, keep the heels off of the chair. Take it, up, extend, lift higher, take it back down. Last time, extend, now heels onto the chair and just lift and lower. I've got two more things that I'm gonna show you. We're going to be pedaling, where you lift one leg up off the chair at a time, and then as you do so, you're going to turn and rotate towards the knee. Get ready to lift up this front knee, take it towards me, take it side to side. That heel gently touches back down each time. And then we've got one more move after this, where there'll be one knee lift, and then we're gonna come into the center. So it's gonna look like this, one knee lift, then the foot goes down, then you lift straight up into the center, and then you'll take it back down. We'll try a few repetitions of that by itself with the single knee, then put it back down right here. So you take it single, heel down, lift, do it again. Single, heel down, lift, do it again. Single, heel down. All right, then we're gonna combine them with four pedals. Four pedals, here we go. So it's four, three, two. Now that single pedal by itself, heel down, lift higher. Pedal again, twist towards me. Now one by itself, get ready. From the top, here we go. Lift, all the way up. Heels come down for the first time. Then they stay up, up three, let's go. Up, extend, lift higher, do that again. Then we go right into the pedals, heels down. Four pedals, four, three, two, one by itself. How are you doing? Lift up. All right, remember it takes a lot of time to build up to doing all of these repetitions, one by itself. Lift up from the top, let's go. Take it, lift, lift, higher, all the way down, up. Heels stay lifted, right here, up three, up, extend. Do that again, up, extend, pedals, here we go. It's four, three, two, one by itself, one, and lift, pedal for me again. All right, if you need to take a break, that's okay. And lift it, release it, fantastic job. Extend long, big stretch. You have worked your abdominal muscles very, very hard. Let's take the legs right in towards the chest one time. Lift that tailbone up, feet placed, and just roll it over to the side and come on up. You've done fantastic, and now you deserve a cool down. Now let's go down to the floor and relax. Extend both your legs, and carefully lower down one elbow at a time. Now reach long throughout your fingertips and toes. Elongate through your spine, continue to breathe, and relax. Now let's take up one leg, and just let that foot rest against the other knee. Cross your arm over, and now tip it towards the back. Let's extend this arm right out towards me, and then just look over at your arm so that you can stretch through the neck. Gently hold the stretch, press that leg gently down, and feel it all down the side of your rib cage. These are the obliques that we work so hard. Now roll it gently in towards the floor. Carefully lower that leg and simply switch. Now extend your arm to the back and look in the direction of that arm. Tip towards the front and again feel the stretch all down the side of your rib cage. Continue to breathe, lightly press on that leg and then release it, take it up. Long stretch once again. Deep breath, inhale up, and exhale. And now let's roll over onto your front side. Now rest onto the elbows and bring them in close. Press into your palms, and now you're gonna press upward. 
and then release it, take it down. And exhale, press upward again. Don't hyperextend through the neck, chin slightly forward, take it down again. And exhale, take it up and hold. All right, let's push up to an all fours position. So the hands are directly below the shoulders and the hips are directly above the knees. Just tuck those hips under, contract, chin towards your chest, and release it. Let the back naturally arch, and then let's round it again. And to make it comfortable on your knees, those toes should be pointed towards the back, and release it. Let's sit back down, put your legs in a comfortable position. Now inhale up, and exhale down. Now inhale, and one arm reach over to the side. A little bit more of a neck stretch, and release it. One arm comes up, and stretch over to the other side. Just gently place that ear over towards your shoulder. And that's it. Let's take another deep breath, inhale up, stretch way up, and exhale. That is it. You made it, and you did a fantastic job. Now remember, do your Abs of Steel workout three days a week, and it's a good idea to have sound nutrition and aerobic exercise in your program also. And before you know it, you will be well on your way towards those Abs of Steel. Keep up the good work. This is a special relaxation segment that I've put together to help clear your mind and relieve stress. This is a great routine to follow your Abs of Steel program or by itself when you're looking for total body relaxation. Start out with your feet a little bit further than hips distance apart. Let's soften the knees, gently contract your abdominal muscles inward, and tilt through the hips just so that we relieve the stress off the lower back. Relax the shoulders backward and downward, and feel the stress fall from your fingertips. Now begin breathing in deeply in through the nose, and exhale out through the mouth. Breathing in deeply into the abdominal area so that you're using 100% of your lung capacity. Continue breathing in and exhale, relax it. Again and exhale, relax it. Now we lean upward and over to the right and left and arms sweep outward and then roll your shoulders back. And let's sweep one arm up, lean into the stretch other arm, let them fall gently out to the side, and roll the shoulders back. And again, clear your mind of all your worries. Just think about relaxing into the stretch. Gently roll those shoulders back, continuing all the while to concentrate on your breathing, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Let's take the feet a little bit closer together and sweep the arms gently forward as you round your back and sweep it back. Just let the head rest between the arms and roll back, continuing to breathe. This is your time to relax. Once more, and this time let's hold that and just gently press forward through the hands and allow the neck to relax right between your arms. Bend those knees and come straight up Deep breath, inhale, and exhale, relax. And again, and this time, let's gently take one arm down, and the other arm places onto the ear, and just lean that head directly towards the side, still keeping your head facing forward, feeling a gentle stretch through the neck, and release. Arms come back up, deep breath, inhale up, and exhale, release it, in again, and we simply stretch the other side. Gently take that neck over to the side, release the shoulder down, relax it, continue to breathe in, and exhale. And arms come back up. Long stretch, lift up from your rib cage. Focusing on the stretch, the relaxation, and exhale. Take it all the way down. 
and we slowly take it down to the floor and extend the arms out from the body relax into it Let's take one leg, curve it to the side, and now look in the direction of your outstretched arm, stretching your neck a little bit differently now, continuing to breathe. This is your time to relax, forget about your worries. And gently, carefully switch sides, feeling a stretch all down along the sides of your rib cage through the hip and release it. Arms reach up, long stretch, inhale up and exhale, release it. Just let your hands fall gently down at your sides and feel your body start to relax and fall deeply in towards the floor. Relax your body from your head down to your toes. Release the tension through your neck. Imagine releasing the tension on down through your shoulders, all the way down your spine, continuing to breathe in, and exhale, relax, releasing the tension all throughout your legs, down through your feet, and release all of the tension out through your toes. And as you're lying here relaxing, Form a mental picture of what it is that you want to achieve. Do you want to slim down through your hips, through your buns, through your abdominal area? Whatever it may be, if you can visualize it, you can achieve it. And continue relaxing, remembering to breathe in through your nose, and exhale out through your mouth. And again, in. Always letting all the tension just release completely. And as you're laying here relaxing, you're feeling the body even sink further down into the floor. And let's take one last deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Your body should be totally relaxed and your mind completely refreshed.